and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to learn how to use a calculator. Right, what happens when they change the equation? Now they start telling you or asking you to calculate the angle. Right, when they're asking you to calculate the angle, the question looks something like the sin theta is equal to a half. Now notice there is no value at the angle which is always situated near the ratio. The angle is linked right next to the ratio. It does not come before it and sometimes they also have other terms after the angle. Now when you are told to calculate the angle, the calculator work is shift and then the ratio and then the value. So the amount that is over the equal to sign in or in your equation, we're going to call it the value. The amount that is next to your ratio is called the angle. So you press shift, the ratio and the value. So in this case, you will press shift, you'd press sin and you press the value. Again, remember your calculator automatically puts a bracket, so you must close the bracket. This is automatically put by your calculator. You must get into the habit of putting this bracket. And then once you press equal, you'd get your answer. But look at how I'm writing my answer. Theta is equal to 30. When you press shift, you just linked the half to the ratio of the sin. But you are not calculating sin of the angle. You're just calculating the angle alone. So there must be no ratio here. This is important. Many children will give us sin theta is equal to 30 degrees. So be careful. All we are doing is you are calculating theta. What you must remember basically, as soon as you press shift, The ratio falls. There will be two places where your ratio falls. The one thing that makes your ratio fall is your shift and later you will learn that Pythagoras makes your ratio fall. So your ratio cannot be available, cannot be seen once you press shift or once you start using Pythagoras. So sin cos and tan disappear cosec sec cot disappear. Now what happens when we don't have the basic three sin cos and tan ratios? When we have cosec, sec and cot. So if I gave you cosec theta is equal to 2. How do you solve that on your calculator? You're going to press your ratio. Now remember when I'm talking of ratio, on the calculator there's only sin cos or tan. So when I'm talking about a ratio linked to cosec, you must immediately link it. Cosec links to sin. Cot links to tan. And sec links to cos. So we press shift. We press the ratio, again remembering that when I'm talking of ratio, I'm specifically linking cosec to sin, cot to tan, sec to cos. So we press shift, we press the ratio, then you press the value. Now the value is the number opposite the equal to sign, but the difference is you need to press x to the power of minus 1 and then you press equal to. What it does is if you are not comfortable with using this way, you know that cosec is 1 over sin theta. So what we're doing is if cosec is equal to 2, If you have this as 2 over 1, now we swap it. 
with fractions if you bring the top to the bottom for all and the bottom to the top it actually works out so basically I'm bringing the sin on top so I end up with sin theta over 1 I literally swapped these two but if you do that on one side you have to swap the other side also and now you can just press shift sin 1 over 2 remember to close your brackets and you'd still get theta is equal to 30. So whether you use it as cosec where we press shift and then we press sin and then we press 2 and we press x to the power minus 1 we would end up with 30 degrees. Or if you changed it using algebra you would still end up with 30 degrees. Cosec, sec and cot are not usually asked when we are solving for angles. But sin, cos and tan are consistently asked. So you need to make sure that you know. When we're working with sin, cos or tan, shift the ratio and the value. Thank you for watching.